humans had swam more, then we would but us see swimming ourselves, had but we also would be able to stay in the But water. think about it. Humans stayed on land more than they were closer to water. Yeah, we're we only got closer to water when we started becoming when we started becoming more intelligent. We, then we started to realize we could fish. Before that, you know what we were doing? We were hunting mammoths. We were hunting bears. We were hunting deers for food. On Cameron, land. Cameron, I think Cameron's completely Cameron. missing my point. No, go I'm not missing your point. Go, go a couple thousand years into the future, if humans still exist, and see that we have gills now on the side of our necks because we I'm swim I'm positive we won't. Okay, actually, actually, that made different. No, 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 because no, he, he has a point there. He has a point there because I think that evolution is just going to splinter off people because people we people do different things. Like there are swimmers out there, there are athletes out there, and if they keep do, if their kids keep doing what their parents do, Oh. And the kids are gonna develop stuff. Dude, this connection. That helps them with that. Right, but I'm wait. just saying. So Cameron, right? So you do believe, like, maybe at some point in the future that in the people, future people can have gills, right? Yes, I'm okay, positive okay, that okay, if okay, but time if out, that was but okay, time yes. Out, yeah, 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 yeah. But time out, right? That would make them inefficient, according to you. That would make them inefficient at doing what? we were supposed to do back a thousand years ago that would make them inefficient in doing that because now they're not building houses anymore they're swimming and yeah, they have a new yeah, exactly. they so they're going to the lose house, they're going but they're, no they're, they're not because they're going to lose the ability to, to be on land you can't <laughs> breathe air if you are underwater um, atlantis Atlantis, they. <laughs> Cameron, no, Cameron. Cameron no, this is not how that works. Cameron, no, 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 Cameron, 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 Cameron. Cameron, listen to me, man. The Cameron. fact of the matter is, you want humans to be amphibians, no. and if you want them to be amphibians, I don't want then, then, then guess what? <laughs> yes, you do. What no. are humans with gills? Like amphibians. Yes. No, Cameron, yes. Cameron. No, you cannot tell me otherwise. <laughs> that is how that works. An animal that breathes air and underwater is an amphibian. That is what they're classified as. But then you just said. And you know what's wrong with amphibians to the point where they what? can't build houses? You want to know? You want to know? They're not strong enough. They can't lift all that heavy lifting. They can't. There's absolutely no way. That's yeah. just not how bones work. What he said. No, Cameron, listen to me, right? No, I'm tired of you. <laughs> You just don't want to understand. Listen. I am understanding. I get your point. You but don't. what you're telling What's me is What's wrong. My What's my point? What's my point? What's my point? <laughs> your point is that that trade-off doesn't make any sense. That that trade-off makes them, that they should be able to be efficient at doing, at breathing air and water and building houses and being able to breathe underwater at the same time. But what I'm telling you is you're wrong. That's not how evolution works. Yeah, but at one point in the evolutionary chain, there's gonna be a human with gills. Like, if this if this were to happen, there's gonna be a human with gills who can still breathe on air, but he has gills so he can breathe in the water, correct? Correct. Right, Right. but right. there's gonna be genetic differences to the point where he's not gonna be able to do the same things humans, full humans on land can do. But here's the thing, why wouldn't he be able to build a house? It's just laying bricks. No, it's not just laying bricks. I don't know about you, but I know a little bit about construction, and it's heavy lifting. No, 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 but, but he doesn't have to build a, a, a super, super duper house. He could build a straw hut, and that still counts as a shelter. But why would he do that if he breathes underwater? See, what? you're contradicting yourself. You, your, 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 your imaginary human is contradicting himself. There's absolutely no need for him to be on land if he can breathe underwater. But he can, and that's what I'm saying. No, because if he can, then he's not going to be on land. That's what I'm telling you. No, Cameron, he's not going to be on land, and he's not going to be able to do stuff that regular humans on land can do. I mean, he can do. If he has gills human. at that point, but if he has gills at that, if this human has gills at that point, he lives underwater because he can't breathe air. You, you he just can't breathe with me air. That he could. That's what I said. 
I no, during, I said, said during, if no, no, no. your human during, could do all of that, if your human could do all chain, of that, then there's one, no need for him to be on I, land in the first place. No, Two. But, no, Cameron, I said during the evolutionary chain, there's going to be a point where if there is indeed a human with gills, they're going to be able to breathe both on land and in water. Because they're going to be born, and they're going to be able to breathe in both, but still have, still be a human. But what I'm telling you is yeah, but correct, that right? correct? their physiology. Okay, yes, there will be a human who can breathe on land and water. They okay, are an amphibian. Okay. That's, but that's the, what problem I that is, What's the problem with that is the problem with that is their physiological physio. I can't speak. Their phys yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Their out their, their makeup, their genetic makeup, isn't going to allow them to do the same heavy lifting as regular humans can. They're going to need to be in water more often than they're going to be on land. As a matter of fact, they're but probably they going to be board. born in water first. You just agreed with me that they can All right. breathe. No, 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 no. You have, two, you have two ways of breathing, through your nose and through your mouth. Which one do you use more? Your nose, correct? Yeah. All right. So think about it. You you have been you have been evolved to breathe water now more than you do air. So you're gonna need to breathe water more often. And you're gonna need to be by the water more often than you are gonna need to be in regular land. No, but you can still breathe in both. That's what we agreed on. You can breathe through both your mouth and your nose, but are you going to breathe through your mouth every single waking day of your life? No. But the you're going to breathe through. You're going to breathe through the organ that you were, that your body has decided that it should be dominant on. You can breathe through your mouth and through your nose, but you're not gonna breathe through your mouth 24/7. Until you die. No, you're just not going to do that. I mean, but you can't. So if you're going to, but if you're going to, yes, you can, but you're not going to. I'm sorry, Harris. The fact of the matter is, you decide, you're, you, ev you evolve to breathe under, you evolve to start to breathe underwater. So you're going to use breathing underwater as your dominant breathing source. But are you though? Rather than just breathing regularly. Yes, you are. No, you, you are. You Dog, are! Why can't we be crashed? Just because you don't have to doesn't mean you are. The fact of the matter is, you started to breathe- You started to evolve to breathe underwater. So you're going to breathe underwater more than you are gonna breathe on regular air. What? Kaleo, you're not understanding. You we're have two ways of breathing. No, right. you're not understanding. You have two ways of breathing. Correct. Correct. Through your nose and through your mouth. You use your nose as your dominant source of breathing, not your mouth. Just because you can do it with your mouth doesn't mean you're going to do it 24-7. You evolved to breathe with your nose. That's why you have it. You started to evolve to breathe with your gills underwater. So you're going to use that. But no, you're so which means you're going to need to be at water more often than you're going to need to be in air. Cameron, Cameron, buddy, what I'm saying, correct, if a human has gills and a regular airway with lungs, correct? Yes. Regardless of what their dominant source of breathing is, they could still build themselves a house. No! What why, I'm telling why, you why, is, why, why they're what? not going to be able to, one, two. You're gonna tell me just because someone can breathe underwater, they can't breathe, they can't make a house? That's yes! What I'm saying. That's what I'm because saying. one, because one, evolution has no need, their evolutionary line has no need for them to build a house when they can live underwater. <laughs> I'm muting him, dog. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That's so dumb, Cameron. It's not dumb. That's how evolutionary lines work. That's how evolution works in general. <laughs> Yo. I can't. <laughs> like I, I must, I, for the most part, I drowned it out because I was doing some homework. But like, dog. Uh, oh. oh. Five seconds and counting. That's funny.
I want you to tell me how many animals you, how many water breathing animals you know that build their own houses. Not, not, not find their own houses, not dig a hole, but build their own houses from the ground up. I mean, digging a hole really counts as a house. No. I mean, it doesn't. It shelter, it digging a hole does not count as digging as as building a house. It's, it's shelter, you don't, you're going down, which no, no because I mean, you're going down. No, it doesn't no, matter if you're going down. Because you're, a shelter is a shelter. It does because the more you go up, the more gravity you have to deal with. The more gra the more the earth is pulling you down. Well, the more weight you have to push up against. If you're going Dog, down, you're, you're not. I'm no. not tripping. That's how gravity works. I don't care how gravity works. What do you I'm mean I'm tripping? You can have a hole in the ground tripping, and it still be a shelter. But it doesn't take as much effort as building a but human it, house. But it's still a shelter, correct? But it's underwater, which is what my point still stands. It's underwater. Cameron, 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 Cameron. We did not evolve to make houses. We evolved, no. We evolved to be hunter and gatherers. We evolved to be hunter and gatherers, which causes us, which is a byproduct of making houses. We have to make houses in order to be hunter and gatherers. We have to live in villages, which causes us to build houses uh, together. Dog. And no. so in order to build houses together, no. as a village, we need to be strong enough to pick up the materials to build the house. Oh Are you God. telling me Dude. that if we had gills, we wouldn't be strong enough? Yes! That's what he's You're saying. Retarded. Yes. You're retarded. Uh, Cameron. No! I'm not Cameron. retarded. Cameron. Because, Cameron. No, Cameron. because if Cameron. you had gills, listen. you're prominent. No, 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 if you evolve to have you're gills, stupid. you're going to use your gills more often than you're going to use your regular airways. He oh can't God, shoot dude. worth a gosh darn. He's his you aim can use sucks. Both. You can use both equally. Yes. No. No, 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 no. Okay, yes, you can use both equally, but think about it. Do you breathe through your mouth as much as you breathe through your nose? Well, probably. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't breathe through your mouth as much as you breathe through your nose. Your nose is your prominary source of breathing. That's why you have one. You just say prominent. 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 Okay. Think, Are you happy now? Just mean Correct primary. words. No. Prominent. I mean prominent. Just keep going with your bullshit. Keep going. It's not because you guys are on some bullshit. Either way it goes. Like I said, you evolved to have gills. So now you're going to use those gills more than you use your actual down nose. That, down that hallway? Yeah, he's down the hallway. He's standing right outside the door. You're going to use your gills more often than you're going to use your regular breathing that you had before you, were, before you evolved gills. And since you evolved gills, then that means you are by the water or in the water more often than you are on land. And so evolution is going to give you a trade-off. You're going to breathe underwater more than you are on land. So you're going to you you're going to lose most of the stuff that you had when you on land and you didn't breathe underwater. Like one, your strength on land. You're not going to be as strong as you were in the water versus when you are on land. Explain turtles, my dude. Turtles are amphibians. I mean, that's what you just they call breathe. our imaginary human. Yes, turtles are amphibians. But you know what? Turtles don't build houses, now do they? Turtles are You know what they have? Are turtles reptiles? I think, I, you know what? I might be wrong. Turtles are probably reptiles, and I'm just tripping. But either way it goes. No, I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping, because think about it. Because you're... What you're telling me is, you're telling me, what, no, what you're telling me is, is you're telling me, all right, I have gills now, that's it. I can breathe underwater. I can do everything I can on land. I can just breathe underwater. No, you can't. That's I not can. how evolution works. Shut up, Thomas. You literally Cameron. cannot tell me I am Cameron. wrong. Evolution I has a trade-off.